Oh my god, the smell! <gasps> Hi and welcome back. So I've got three components to this video. One is game-changing accessories or game-changing pieces actually, not necessarily accessories, that to me, to me personally, really like up your wardrobe. I just think that they are the, the cornerstones that you buy that and it all by itself will completely just elevate your wardrobe or just update it, but update it in a way that is just so cool. So that's one part. The second part is uh, a quick unboxing and it's an unboxing of the Everlane boots. If you haven't seen my Everlane video, what are you waiting for? I'll link it for you below. It is my first uh, impressions and shopping experience. I, I take you with me going to Everlane. I was specifically looking for the jeans. I heard good things about them, so I went down there. So if you haven't seen that video, have a look here. I'll also link it up here on the button. Um, and I'll just take you with me so you can see what it's like. Slash vloggy video. But anyway, down there. And the last thing is the announcement. Right, so, first things first. Right, so the game changing pieces, and I'm like hammering the air and I don't know why. Um, the first one is going to be about footwear and it is going to be, in my opinion, it is still the Western boot. That is absolutely trending at the moment and I'm fully aware of the fact as well. But as the weeks are progressing, you're seeing some really, really good, just some really good examples of them and I'm just oh I just think it looks so good I'm gonna put them all on the screen for you to see but at so many different price points I mean I'm talking from you know Steve Madden all the way up to I don't know who can I pick Fendi oh god those Fendi ones they were so, oh god they're sick they're so good oh amazing I haven't seen them in real life but I'm not gonna get them I'm not gonna get the Fendi ones but god they look so good in certain colors if there was one item I would pick for the season, this season, 2018, it is the Western boot. You can do it in the route that I would probably and have, which is to just get it vintage. There are so many vintage shops, Etsy as well, eBay, all of those, they all have Western boots. And I'll see if I can link some down for you below so you can get some good ideas on what is out there, a good price point. Um, and it just feels less try too hard. It feels more effortless, I think, when you buy it vintage. That's why I love vintage so much, period. But it just adds that cool element factor that you didn't sort of think about it and you just threw them on with anything you're wearing, like a slip dress, a blazer, and then an old vintage Western boot. I mean, that to me is like the perfect date night outfit or just going out during the day, but that's just me. So I would absolutely still think that that is my number one favorite thing. Um, if you're going to get a new boot this season, I wanna say that the majority of us tend to get a new boot, whether it's an ankle, or a tall boot. That is the number one. <laughs> the next game changing piece is something that is vibrant, color wise. Now, it doesn't have to be, when I say vibrant, it doesn't have to be bright as in like really neon color. When I say vibrant, I think of rich, and I've said this to you, dual tones, but just look at this from Topshop. I'm gonna to show you. I saw this incredible pant from Topshop. Look at this, imagine that with the right knit, like a forest green jumper to go with that. In fact, I'm gonna see if I can link, not obviously to this trousers below, but to any sort of what I would team that with, because a lot of you ask me like, okay, I have this piece, but what would you team it with this video? This is absolutely fantastic, and it looks like way more expensive than what it is because it's got that ruffle, waterfall-like effect going down on one leg. That is so chic, that is effortless, that is just everything to me. That is just ugh, so timeless, and it just looks so good. And that color, it's that vibrant color. It's not a dual tone, but I still love it because of the style of that trouser. I think it is like, the ultimate perfect update. It can work during the day if you want to wear it, dress it down with a pair of sneakers, or you can turn around and wear it obviously in the evening, right? It is just perfect for that. Wear a camisole with it. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous pant. When I saw it, my eyes just went, Dong! you know, what? 
Anyway, I hope they come out with other colors because I could imagine, I could imagine it like a sapphire blue or an emerald green. That would look sick. It's a bit like those skirts. Remember the satin slips? God, I'm digressing. The satin slip skirts from um, Larry Dude that I turned you lot onto. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, the Larry Dude satin slip skirts. Oh God, look how good it looks in that light, that dappled light. It's the satin navy skirt. How? <gasps> For those of you who have not seen my videos in the past couple of weeks, here are some pictures of this. I've had some of you DM me and say to me, so glad I got the skirt as well. It just arrived, I love it. I'm now gonna turn around and get the other colors in it. I'll link it for you below. Please just go and get it before they're all gone because it is a great skirt. I have it in three colors now. I've already worn the navy, I've worn the burgundy, and I have it in a gorgeous pink color, which I so want to team with like oatmeals and creams and, oh, anyway, so, that aside, I thought that this was a gorgeous trouser on the Topshop website. And sticking with Topshop, I saw these boots. Now, I already have these boots in brown, but I think that's probably gonna be for another video I'll talk about those. But they also now come in this green. Look at this shade of green. Oh, it's good. It's beautiful. It is such a nice green though. God, with that black, you know, the gusset on the side. Oh, it's gorgeous. Anyway, if I didn't have the brown, I would have got this color in them because I think this is, and it's rare. You don't usually see an ankle boot like that in this particular color. You just don't. Sticking again with Topshop, I saw these green pants, similar color as well to the boot. Beautiful, like fluid, wide leg, pajama-esque looking pants. These are like perfect to wear like a pair of like Adidas black gazelles, like black and white and just put these on. Really just kind of dress it down a bit. Or, but again, you can still team it with like a chunky oversized knit. I think that's gonna look re really good with it. But I like the, I like the clash of materials from the extremes. Something that's like thin and fluid like the trousers and then you team it underneath a nice thick straight uh, straight cut coat and you're just walking and you've just got that fluid clash right between the pant which is silky soft and then you've got the coat I think that is just oh that's such a good combination <laughs> so another game changing piece that I think is just a necessary in your wardrobe are a good pair of glasses now it could be you just upgrading or adding to your eyeglasses if you wear eyeglasses like for me I have these reading glasses by Warba Parker and I love these so much and sometimes I'll wear them as part of a look when I'm taking outfit shots because that Clark Kent geeky look and I just you know I'm so into that vibe and I always have been uh, well before like Gucci was doing this whole like you know big glasses I, I always knew that if I needed reading glasses I would go with a Clark Kent one or a very thin gold um, metal framed one like aviators i still don't have those but i may still get those as an alternative to wearing these but you can also do it in sunglasses as well so do it in like a tinted sunglass i think to me that's like the freshest sunglass update it's just like a tinted lens it's just that throwback vibe that they give you i've got these which are they are tinted but it's very very it's, it's i mean it's basically transparent but when you put them on there is a slight tint to them there are these oversized glasses that i got and i just love this look oh i actually like them with this um jumper god look at these glasses though they are so big but that's why i like them so much it's just like the oversized look of them it's kind of like a, you can see that there is a slight sort of tint to them if you look on this side here just a little bit it's not much i mean it looks like just normal reading glasses but there is a very very slight tint to them but i like that subtle subtlety to them but it's not enough that i wouldn't want to just wear them even on a cloudy day i could still wear these because it's so so subtle but i just think they just completely um change anything that is in my wardrobe right now if i didn't buy any new thing and i just bought these glasses or any other glass that has a really cool look to them and i know it's very sort of generic statement a really cool look what does that mean it's almost like saying oh that's nice that word nice is like oh, oh i just want to strangle its neck i'll list some of my favorite sunglasses and eyeglasses that i think are just really really good to just help to just mm, up your wardrobe by just a couple of notches 
or actually more than a couple and it just gives like a look like you just you actually look like okay I wanted to go for this look today right as soon as I put these on whereas if you take them off then it just looks sort of less like a look if that yeah I know you understand what I'm saying I know you understand what I'm saying and the last thing I'm going to suggest to you is something metallic. Um, I could have said animal prints, but that's been discussed ad nauseum. I've already talked to you about that. I don't need to beat a dead horse. But metallics, I think that's an underrated um, thing that really does clash perfectly, especially at this time of the year, because when you think about it, it's more cloudy, it's overcast. And when you've got something metallic, does, it's going to look 10 times better because it's grey, right? Outside is kind of grey and overcast. And then you put like a metallic gold pant or a metallic gold A-line skirt or midi skirt that's metallic. It just shines, but it looks so much richer and so much prettier. And it just is the perfect, to me, uh, complement with knits and with tweeds even. Like, oh God. See, this is why I love like style. I love that play of just different unexpected things together. But just a metallic, oh God, they look so good. Like my metallic Izumiyaki Bao Bao um, bag, that, that to me, I haven't started to use it yet, but I am gonna pull out that bad boy because it just looks so good against like just a normal uh, coat, like a long coat. It's eye-catching, but in the right way. And you can get your slice of metallics in so many different ways, whether it's a metallic metallic t-shirt, a trouser, a jean that's metallic, a skirt, um, a boot, a metallic boot. I love my gold metallic boots. I have a pair that I've had since for about three years, maybe four years, like beetle boots, and I love them. They're not going anywhere. They're like my they're my Lenny Kravitz, Jimi Hendrix boots. They always add something extra to my wardrobe, guaranteed. So those are my top favorite items for the fall as far as like game changing pieces. It's not many, right? It's just, and it doesn't have to be. And that's the beauty of it. Cause you want them to be like a capsule, uh, game changing selection of things that you can pick any one of them, just one, and just add them into what you've already got and they, instantly just make your wardrobe and just make your starters look that just a little bit just a li just just on that right side you know what i mean it's just oh i love that look anyway everything that i'm suggesting is linked for you below including some ideas of what to team with them as well and i'm going to move on to the next section of this uh video <laughs> okay so here are the everlane boots that is the unboxing i'm going to do it right here remember i told you Again, I'm gonna link below if you've not seen the um, Everlane video where I went shopping there, but I had to order the sock boot. They're here. <laughs> so sorry. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, get gray box. Can you see that? Okay, put that down there. Good choice at Everlane. We want the right choice to be as easy as, oh God, you don't want to hear all that. I just want to get on with the unboxing. Right, so here's the box here. Oh, 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 I love them. So this is the, oh God, you can't even see it. Oh, yeah, you can a little bit here. Here are the boots. So good. I love them. Can you see them? They're so simple, but it's that. That is what I really like. You know what? You can't even see what I'm talking about. Hold on. Okay, so I just adjusted the lighting and these are the Everlane boots. They finally came in and I, oh, they're so good. And they are so comfortable. This is the sides of them so you can see. Covered zipper, just a little heel, not too big. I like contrasting and that stitch seam that runs down the center of both of them as well so really simple looking um boots and i really do like these so much anyway yeah so i made it slightly darker so you can see the boots a little bit better and i think you can there yeah this is them they're great they're fantastic they're so soft just got to take all these things out of them so you can see them a bit better and this is what i was talking about oh there's still more stuff in it God, I hate, I mean, I know they've got to do it. Oh, they're so soft once you take all the stuffing out. Look at that, that, that's how soft they are. Now, some of you were telling me how, you know, 
the sole of them is quite thin and it is quite thin but at the same time I think what I'll do is you know if I want I'll add like a sole to it but for now I'm just going to leave it and just you know I'll see how I go with it but I just oh these are so so good so I'm going to insert some cutaways so you can see how these look on me and I love that they come in so many different colors as well that was to me it was like such a big draw to get in these and um I was sold out oh my god the smell <gasps> it smells so good oh god i've got makeup on so i can't like have it rest on my face but anyway um these are great so soft cutaways are going in here so you can see what they look like on me but i oh these are great so like my face yeah lovely love love these and i'll definitely be showing you on my instagram how i'm going to be styling them because i just think they're yeah nice classic smooth boo perfect okay so the last part of my video which is the announcement is nothing major but i mean you know i thought i should at least tell you that i've decided to um i've decided to do one video a week and it's going to be on the friday which is what i originally used to do anyway i started when i started to seriously get back into youtube um like a year and a half ago ish or something like that I said that I wanted it to be once a week and it was and then you lot were like no please do another no do another one during the week and I upped it to like two a week Tuesday and Fridays but I have got so much going on right now um, with work not personal just work I mean you know touch wood you know it's God is good I'm not complaining about it I, I'm, I'm I'm welcoming it I'm welcoming it but it's so much stuff that I can't, I'm doing it all by myself. So to, to handle all of that, because really you only see like just the photos and you don't really see the general public doesn't see any of the business side of things that goes on underneath, as well as maintaining, having the photography done, shooting videos twice a week, editing them myself, coming up with new video ideas, as well as coming up with new content ideas, plus doing other things that's to do with income, incoming opportunities, current opportunities, um, old opportunities I'm chasing. And there's just a lot happening at the moment. It's been like this for a good three to four weeks. And it's at the point now where it's making my, um, I don't want to, to compromise the quality of videos on my YouTube channel. That is the last thing that I want to do. So for me, for my sanity, and to maintain the quality of what I am doing and on YouTube, I'm going to, for now, I'm not saying it's like forever, but for now, I'm going to just do videos on Fridays. So no more Tuesday videos anymore, just weekly Fridays, just like I always used to do. OG followers, you know, every Friday I would do a YouTube video and I'm going back to it right now, just temporarily. Um, and when that changes, and I up it again, I'll let you know as well. So that is it. That was my little announcement. It's just to let you know that I'm gonna be doing videos once a week. I know most, a lot of YouTubers already do videos once a week. Anyway, so that is it. That was my announcement. Oh, I love my boots. Anyway, so have a good weekend, my love. Oh, I can't say see you next Tuesday. Not yet. I will see you guys next week, Friday. <laughs> and in between, follow me on my Instagram, Karen Britchett, because I am on there every single day and oh god that actually hurt on my instagram stories you're really seeing what's happening of course you know that but um, instagram tv as well i'm trying to get more of my um street style videos up where i do like where did you get that and stop people on the street and go oh my gosh where did you get that jumper from and you know i've been doing that with um people i've been stopping on this on stopping in new york and it's been brilliant so i want to get back into sort of getting that content back up on instagram so there's just a lot of moving parts that's happening and they're all on my shoulders so i need to think of the best way to allow all of that to happen anyway enough waffling as i always say have a good weekend my loves and i'll see you guys next week friday <laughs> bye with what i'm wearing it's that perfect sort of clark kink clark clark kink <laughs> i just love that oversized look to them and if i turn slightly to the side yeah, you can sleep. You can. You can sleep. Oh God, I can't speak. Okay. Well done. Oh.
just sort of stop doing random video. I just want to stop talking. Oh gosh, I should just go to sleep like this. Like just go to sleep, put this on my pillow like that. With this is the last thing that I smell. For the ragged.